Hi, it's Nicole at The Pearl Review. Hope you're well. Lately, I haven't been posting many videos because I have been reading a lot of nonfiction, and those books are often specific to my own interests, and I find reviewing them is a very uh, different and, I guess, more limiting experience compared to reviewing literature. However, there is one book that I highly recommend to you that I really enjoyed and was one of the best books I've read within a year's time at least. And that book is The German Genius by Peter Watson. Full title is a little helpful here. The German Genius, Europe's Third Renaissance, The Second Scientific Revolution, and the 20th Century. Watson begins his narrative with Bach and leads us all the way up to the present. He made this book with a purpose. Germany was a powerhouse of intellectual, scientific, and artistic thought. Maybe the biggest influencer of modern times. Maybe the greatest contributor among the European cultures from the 19th century up until World War II. I agree with his belief that this has been completely obscured and mostly forgotten because of the Third Reich. This book introduced me to so many inspiring figures and works of art, and it also intrigued me. Why did this bright star fall into darkness? How did this brilliant culture come to debase itself? We cannot forget the Holocaust. I am no apologist. But what can we learn from remembering the rest? The German Genius is a massive book with countless historical figures. I would have to make this video a lot longer if I included most of them, but you can probably think of many of them. He covers philosophy, science, music, literature, art, and academia. So it's a, a pretty thorough intellectual history. All of the big names are there like Bach, Wagner, Schopenhauer, Hegel, Kant, Karl Marx, Thomas Mann, Nietzsche, Goethe, Beethoven, Mozart, you know, <laughs> the big guys. Something that I really loved, though, about this book that kind of transcends the topic that makes it even more appealing to my recommending it to you is a central theme of the book that is a big idea in German culture, and that is of Bildung. Uh, it's a terribly <laughs> sounding word, at least to my ears. It's not the most aesthetic. However, it means the cultivation of knowledge and culture in a person which defines them, something integral to their becoming the person who they are destined to be. And this idea is a huge thing in um, German intellectual culture and uh, Germany's culture as a society, really. Um, they went as so far as to incorporating this into their state planning. Uh, this was so important that schools were funded in such a way explicitly as the government's duty to foster intellectual and cultural growth that that was an obligation that they had to society. Uh, so that is very telling in and of itself and extremely inspiring, just in my point of view. As a reader, I found this book very helpful because compared to some other countries, I know far fewer German classics, and I'm sure I'm not alone in this. I think most people can easily name four big authors from, say, the UK, France, and Russia, but Germany, I don't know, not so much. This book also does not shy away from Germany's dark years, and I think that's another reason why I found it so fascinating. The hack historians and social scientists are not left out, and neither is German academia under Hitler. So there's there's a lot of disturbing stuff in here, but it's it's very interesting and enlightening. 
So if you're looking for a gateway into understanding German culture, or at least an introduction, or if you're looking for a good intellectual history, look no further, seek this book out. Peter Watson is an excellent author. Uh, he has done other books. This one really knocked me off my socks. So if you have read this and you want to share your thoughts uh, or any thoughts or comments, uh, please, um, please leave them below. Thanks again for listening. Take care. Bye.